Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in my little corner, as you see, with my little shelf I got back here, which is my bed and my closet. Literally, this is the space I have right here. But I don't really like filming here because it's a little cramped for one. And um, just trying to set up the camera and everything, it, it's a little bit of a hassle. So I don't really like filming here. But I can't really film anywhere else in the house right now because there are people over and um, I wanted to film this today and I've been putting it off. It's already like 7 o'clock. So let's get into it. Um, as you've probably seen for the title, this is another Wizarding Trunk unboxing and it is one of their special edition boxes, um, which is their quarterly box, which is the high security vault box. And the theme for this one, I think, is like favorites, witches and wizards, I think. My favorite wizard is Snape, if you don't know that already. Um, but we've already had like a potion box, so that was Snape. The next one would probably be Hagrid, for me, my favorites. Um, which we've had the Keeper Keys box, uh, Magical Creatures box. Um, so I don't think any of those are going to be in here. And I'm not really sure, like, your favorite favorite is very subjective so I'm wondering if this is either the golden trio and the silver trio um, in this box you know our main characters um, so that's what I think that is because that has to be everybody's favorite you know Harry I guess um, so let's get into it as always it is the the box is the same as the other special edition box um, which I really do like this design like it's a vault you know so let's get into it. You get first looks, and this one is pretty weighty. There's a, it's, it's a little bit heavy. It's a bit heavy. So you get first looks. Ugh, and there's not enough room. Oh my god, the cheat sheet's on top. Let me put that to the side. I'm not gonna look at that. That. All right. So first thing. I, oh my god, there's a lot that I see, and I think I am correct. Let me just go ahead and pull it out about the golden trio we've got Hermione's bag um, it feels like there's something in it um, let's see how much is in here <laughs> so we've got what was it <laughs> oh my goodness this is this supposed to be Rita oh my gosh inside the bag we've got a beetle which May or may not be some um, somebody, <laughs> not just a normal beetle, um, but that's super cute to put it in the bag. <laughs> Too bad it's not like in a what is it? Don't doesn't she put her put her in a indestructible like jar or something? <laughs> yeah, uh, which would be cute if she was in a jar. But we've got a beetle inside of Hermione's bag, and we don't have anything else in the bag. Or do we? Do we? Just keep keep going down in it. <laughs> but that is so cute. I've wanted a replica bag of Hermione's bag. I wanted a replica of her bag, right? Um, I know Noble Collection has one, I think. Or used to have one. I don't know. But this is great. This is perfect. It's just a little, little tie-up bag. It's pretty. And um, it's great. I might use it for, oh my god, turn into a little bucket hat if you want. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a little bag. You could use this. This would be a great dice bag, I think. I think I might transfer all my dice in here. That's what I think I'm going to do with that. The next thing next to it that I have to pull out that I think is super cute. Santa Frog! Okay, so immediately I went to Chocolate Frog because it's brown, but it could be... Neville's frog, um, maybe Neville's toad. I mean, I don't know, but because it's brown, I just immediately went to chocolate frog, <laughs> which is fine too. <laughs> so, yes, we got a cute little stuffed frog here. We've got a little wizarding trunk tag, but yeah, super cute. Oh, it would be cute if you could. Oh no, for a second, I thought there was something in there that it could squeak, but it would be cute if he squeaked or something 
All right, next thing in here. Oh, I believe we've got another portrait pin. And this one seems to be Lupin, I think. So there is our portrait pin. This one is another smaller pin, smaller frame, which is fine. You know I love the portrait pins. I, I just... Next thing I see is a patch that says champion on it. Next thing I see here are some little shoes. Which I'm pretty sure are Luna's shoes. Look at that. It's just two little pairs of shoes. That's so cute. I think what I'm gonna do, these are so cute, they're just tiny shoes. If you have like a doll or something, or I don't know, put them on your cat, which is a possibility for me. But I think what I'm gonna do is probably take a string and hook them together so it can be like over your rear view mirror kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like the dice that go over your rear view mirror, but like the little shoes. I think that's super cute. Uh, but yes, look at the little shoes up close. That's super cute. All right, the next thing I see in here seems to be a t-shirt. So let's see what's in here. Well, I know what's in here, but let's see what the design is. So, it is a nice green shirt. Nothing on the back. And in the front, oh my gosh, is that Hagrid's house? Hagrid's hut? A beautiful place to be with friends. Friends, oh, I think I believe that's Hagrid's hut right there. This one, the t-shirt feels the t-shirt quality feels a little different. I could be completely wrong, but it feels like thicker. I don't know. Always stretchy. I love these t-shirts. They're like super comfy. But yes, I believe that's Hagrid's hut. Uh, but like I said, yeah, there's nothing on the back, nothing on the sleeves. It's just a little simple tee. The fabric on. I'm serious. This this t-shirt material feels different. I like it. it. Feels kind of cozy. It's cute. super cute. Super cute. Next thing, we've got a little blind box in here. Let's pull this out. We've got some styrofoam that I have a love hate relationship with. Always get some cute things when they're styrofoam, but I hate styrofoam. Is this a chest piece? I don't is this a chest piece? Yeah. I think, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't know, actually. I don't know. I think this is a chest piece and it's trying to refer to Ron. Um, I think, you know, it's not me, not Hermione, <laughs> but you. You know what I'm talking about? I don't even know if I'm saying that quote right. I think, <laughs> I think that's what this is referring to. I'm not entirely sure. I think this is a chess piece, but you know, I make mistakes. But I think, <laughs> I think, I think. Uh, but yeah, just a little statue of a horse. Um, very nice statue. I like this one. It has like that, that blue in it that kind of looks like patina a bit. Um, I like that. The next thing in here. Okay. Well, it's a white box, but on the top it says 12 ounce frosting straight tumbler. Frosting straight tumbler? Is it a cup? And I believe it is. Ooh, frosted, I think. It meant, yeah, like a frosted glass. This is a cup. And it is glass. Oh, we don't get a straw? Oh, we do get a straw. <laughs> there is a straw in the, oh my God, I didn't even see it there. Um, this is really cute. I've always wanted one of these like little glass cups, but I was like, I'm not gonna go buy one of those like fancy glass cups. Um, so I was like, how much am I really going to use it? Uh, but this is really cute. So it's a frosted glass cup. It looks like, like a can, but you know, it's a glass cup. And it comes with a little lid and a hole to put a straw in. But yeah, I really like the design of this. I like that it's frosted and it has that Patronus design on the front. Like, look at, look how beautiful. 
this design is. I don't know if I'm showing that right, but look how pretty that is. And then they gave us a little straw. So much, I'd have to say though, there is so much plastic in these boxes. Like it's kind of unnecessary because like we've had t-shirts in here before that are just folded in here, which is fine by me. That's fine. Especially if you put it in already like a bag, like a sh the box is in like a shipping bag. But yeah, I do want to say there is a lot of plastic that accumulates the bubble wrap. I understand. I also keep and reuse the bubble wrap, so that's not really a big thing. But there's a lot of plastic that I'm not very fond of. Uh, the boxes are fine, but the plastic, just, you know, I want to point that out there. Can this go all the way through? Oh my god. It's got a, a good seal. Oh my gosh. This is actually, this is actually super cute. I kind of, I don't know why I'm thinking Star Wars for some reason, and I want to like put blue milk in it. But this is actually super cute. <laughs> I like that. Okay. So I wonder if that's supposed to be Harry and his like Patronus. All right. So the last thing before we get into the paper products is this. And I'm hoping is a potion. It is nice and heavy. So I'm hoping that's what it is. Because we didn't get a potion in our last box. Not like a true potion. It was bar soap. And I think it's a potion because I see a wax seal on top. I'm excited. I have been missing my potions. Oh my gosh. It is a fun green color. Let me get it out of the bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, this is fun. This looks so fun. This looks so fun. Oh my gosh, this is such a fun bottle. I like how it's off-centered. And this is Portable Swamp by Wittershine. So this is obviously their version of... Um, why can't I think of the joke shop? The Brothers Joke Shop. Weasley, Weasley's Wizarding, what? Weasley's Weasley, <laughs> Weasling's Wizarding Weasley, Weasley's Wizards, Weasley's, Weasley's, Weasley's. <laughs> yes, that, you know, you know what I'm talking about, I just can't, can't get it out right now, um, but this is so fun, so it is a portable swamp, um, I, like I said, I love the bottle, that it's, I love unique bottle shapes and that they're not all the same kind of bottle. Um, but yes, I like the off-centeredness, um, the green swampy looking wax on top, got the W on the wax, got a little charm, um, if you can see the, the label, and then inside, I, there is like a plant in here with, and it's like this swampy green liquid, but there's also some shimmer to it, so I'm going to shake it in a little bit to see how shimmery it gets, but yeah there's a little plan in here which is very reminiscent of something i i just did um i'll just i'm gonna tell you a little sneak peek this video is gonna come out first though so it's probably the video after this if i'm being honest i did a potion that also has a plant inside another diy potion of mine because you know I, I love me some potions um and so i made me one i'm not gonna tell you what it is but it's gonna be next week's video so go you know subscribe and bell so you know when that one comes out um but yeah no i really love this i love this green green color but now let's shake her and see how shimmery it gets oh not really at all really <laughs> I, I gotta remember to move it away from the light because i can't see it when it's up against the light um but yeah i don't really think it shimmered up even more let me know what you think but the, i do like that I do kind of like that, that it's not fully shimmer. It's just like a little little bit of sh shimmer in there. It's like the swamp water is a bit magical. I don't know. I love I love potions that have things in them. Like, you know, be creative. Um, and I just like how this one's a little bit topsy-turvy. Even like in the glass, the glass is not even completely straight, um, which is probably not meant to be. <laughs> but it works and it fits and I like the little quirkiness of it. So, yeah really love that item all right now into the paper products and oh, <laughs> i'm gonna save the best thing for last okay so the first thing i see we've got a print of a phoenix 
Um, this is actually really pretty as well. Um, but yeah, got a beautiful print of a phoenix. Next thing in here, which I'm kind of excited about, we've got another recipe card. Um, English toffee. Oh. <laughs> Um, see, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna make some toffee, I'm just gonna go buy some toffee if I'm being quite honest. Um, but yeah, to make some toffee. Um, but I like this, and I like that we are getting more recipes to put into my recipe thing. Um, let me tell you, I am starting to fill up my recipe cards. Um, and my aunt, there's some recipes I want her to write in there, and she just has not done it yet. <laughs> so, uh yeah i love that and i do plan to make a video at some point trying a bunch of the recipe cards that we had um but i think I, i'm gonna be honest i don't like cooking i'm not the best cook i like to eat the, the foods um so i might be putting it off for quite a while especially if there's one that i really like i'm gonna i'll, I'll probably it'll probably motivate me to do it some more but like this english toffee I'm not going to make toffee, if I'm being honest, but I do like these, and hey, if I ever needed to make toffee, I have a recipe for it. <laughs> All right, now the best thing in here, paper product. Oh, wait, there's two. Wait, hold on. Missing something. We've got another creature page. Um, this one is W, and we've got a wraith. we got a wraith. Look at that art. I love the art on here on, the, on these and then we've got a white stag so there's the art on that one I love my creature pages um, and yeah gonna go in my book all right now what I've been anticipating oh this is the last item um, we've got another enchanter you know I love the enchanters and this one is bat sasquatch bat Sasquatch, Sighting Frenzy in Liverpool. Glimmer, Glimmer Hide Captivates Castle Comb. Okay. Chupacabra or Charad, Trad, Trada, Trade? I don't know. <laughs> Flying Saucers, a magical explanation. Um, yes, you know I love the Enchanters um, and always 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 excited to get a new one i'm just going to flip through some of the pages or probably all the pages just give you a glimpse of what's in here um we got another like recipe in here to make toad in the hole <laughs> Ooh, we got a recipe for a potion ingredients two cups of reindeer blood one cup of pit viper blood one crystal jelly bean, jelly ball bell, six common rose butterfly wings, three alfalfa pup, pupa powder. And we've got our main articles here. You know, I just, I love, I love the art so much in these. I really do. Are you a vampire? Tired of hunting people to survive? The Vampire Blood Bank will help quench your thirst. Crystal Ball is to find out more limited seats available. <laughs> oh my goodness. Featured Crystal and I guess Lucky Ruin. I like that they had those tarot card readings. See, I love these. And then we've got our horoscopes on the, on the side. I am going to read one horoscope, which is Gemini, because that is my horoscope. <laughs> um, and if you are too, well, lucky day, I'm going to read yours. Um, Gemini, expect setbacks this week, but try to maintain a positive approach. Open that book that you've always wanted to read. Actually, yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. And then we've got, like, ads in the last page. You always get, like, some ads. Magical ads, which is great. And then the credits of who helped create all this. And, you know, I just love these. I love these so much. So that is it for this box. Um, let's get into favorites and least favorites before I get into the cheat sheet. So my favorites, come on, what do you, what do you think it is? Um, the Enchanter and the Potion. 
Is that a surprise? I don't think so. Uh, a close second, though, because, you know, I'm, those are always my favorite. <laughs> a close second is probably either Hermione's bag or this one. Because I've wanted one of these. I just couldn't justify getting one. Um, but yeah, so let's get into our cheat sheet. Um, it looks like, you know, newspaper. All right, so number one, creature page. This creature page tells you all about the white stag and the wraith. This page was written by the Wizarding Trunk and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number two, the knight. This piece played a vital role in the largest game of chess played this century. So it is a reference to Ron. <laughs> Number three, Phoenix print. Whether you're a fan of the Phoenix or its owner, we are sure you will love this print. <laughs> Number four, English toffee recipe card. A recipe right out of your favorite wizarding mother's kitchen kitchen. <laughs> Perfect for filling Easter eggs with recipe by the Wizarding Trunk and design by Wizardry Workshops. Number five, the portable swamp potion. Be sure to keep the stopper in this bottle at all times. Once opened, a full swamp will emerge that is quite difficult to contain or remove. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number six, the Enchanter. Your next quarterly edition of The Enchanter has arrived. This edition was written by the talented team of Witches and Wizards and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number seven, Miniature Sneakers. These sneakers have been shrunken to make finding them even more difficult for the owner. The design was the design on the sneakers was made for us by Here Be Monsters. Number eight, Toad. <laughs> Oh great, you found him. If you could, please return this toad to its owner. That would be amazing. I have heard he has been looking for him all over. So it is Neville's toad <laughs> and not a chocolate frog. Number nine, portrait pin. The next in the series of portrait pins is one of our favorite wizards. Oh, there's two number tens on here. There's a little print mischeck here. Um, hmm. I'm gonna choose this one as number 10. Number 10, champion badge. The badge worn by a real champion or the spare. Whichever way you choose to look at it. Designed for us by JP Missilecurl. Number 11, <laughs> cottage shirt. What a place to be with friends. Remember one of the most loved characters while wearing this design, while wearing this shirt, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Number 12 and 13, the bag and captive beetle. This bag is surprisingly spacious on the inside and seems to contain a rather noisy and quite vile beetle. We recommend tapping the beetle inside a, we, we recommend trapping this beetle inside a jar the first chance you get. Number 14, the protector drinking glass. This glass depicts one of our favorite protectors. Drink it, drink from it, or place an electric tea light inside to illuminate the protector. This glass was designed for us by JP Missile Crow. Oh, that's a good idea. Put a little light in here and then your Patronus kind of glows, you know? Cute. And then we got, you know, all the little ads on here, um, but, something I want to keep mentioning is our editor's choice and this one is featuring um, Wizard of Main Street um, cool so there's his picture I probably am going to put it up anyways um, but yeah I like I said I like that they do that and I don't know if he has a YouTube it's, it has a link down here for his Instagram I have seen his Instagram every now and then um, but maybe I need to go check it out. But this is great to, I think this is great to be able to find more people who like Harry Potter and you can kind of nerd out together. And it, I think it, it helps build a community a bit, you know? So go check them out on Instagram there. That is what the link is to is Instagram. So I'm assuming that's where they post the most. Um, and yeah, next quarterly theme is magical travel which that seems very interesting to me. So with that, that's everything. Um, let me know what you think about this box and 
what's your favorite and least favorite items? Um, I'd like to know. So with that, I hope you liked this video and this unboxing. If you did, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.